Harnessing the power of the sun. According to the U.S. Information Administration, Texas plans to greatly scale up its ability to create solar energy by the end of next year. And after the Texas power crisis in February, a lot of people want to know how electricity is generated here. A lot of people. And tonight, Hank's Kev uh, KVU's Hank Kevin Arrow shows us how the sun helps power the state. It may be the most abundant resource in the world. And its sites like the Pflugerville Solar Project, panels are capturing the sun's energy and creating electricity. And the project, this one's a little different than many projects. Many projects that I've done are in kind of the middle of nowhere, for lack of a better term, so it's just all in one spot. But this one, we have land on this side of the road and on that side of the road. Jason Gallimore is with Duke Energy, the company that runs the site a site with 490,000 panels. So it's enough if you were to look at it from a home's perspective, um, 27,000 homes. You can see how they're angled. Um, they're on a, a axis system that rotates with the sun. So wherever the sun's at is kind of they're going to rotate um, to, to get the optimal, it's called a radiance, which is the amount of energy that's getting produced off of the panels. And inside each panel are cells that create the electricity. Each cell typically produces about one to two watts of power. Anne Fry is an engineer with Duke and explains how it works. The cells are comprised of uh, different materials that, you know, basically, you know, capture the, the energy that the sun's producing, which creates the electrical charges that flow uh, for energy. These solar cells, they already have an electrical field built into them. And whenever the sun beams down, there's a reaction that occurs uh, between you know, the electrical field and the energy that's coming in. Then traveling down wires to an inverter, which switches it to the right current to be used by the Texas grid. And you can't see it, but underground, there's a whole bunch of cable basically underneath this. It's routing all the way back over to the substation over there. But yeah, 490,000 panels on the whole site. The whole site is about 932 acres um, of land, um, and those panels are bifacial and that's one of the interesting things about these panels is they on both sides they can um, capture the, you know the sunlight increasing the amount of energy the site can capture from the sun it's the most abundant resource in eastern travis county i'm hank kevin Air. Now, according to the Solar Energy Industries Association, solar energy powers more than a million homes in Texas. It's created about 10,000 jobs here in the state. Hank has also looked into how other types of energy, like nuclear and wind energy, contribute to Texas. To find those reports, just head to the website, kvu.com.